University Hospitals. Uh, I will present uh, preliminary, preliminary, preliminary results <coughs> of uh, our clinical study involving uh, patients uh, excessive clinical uh, consumers uh, hospitalized for withdrawal. Uh, first of all, some key points on the analytical methods used uh, in this study. Uh, this is an LCMS MS method uh, that combines uh, two PETs, homologs, uh, and a typical line in the same method in a seven minute run. We have a lower limit of quantification of uh, two uh, microgram per liter, and uh, this method is routinely used uh, since uh, mid 2021. Uh, for our uh, interpretation in our laboratory, uh, we use uh, for the first homologue uh, the 210 microgram per liter uh, cut off, uh, which uh, corresponds to our population study. Uh, of excessive consumers. Uh, for the second uh, homologue, uh, which lack uh, data from literature, um, but is reported to have a, a lower half-life, uh, the, the presence of this homologue will indicate uh, alcohol consumption within uh, one to two weeks prior to, to collection. Uh, for a TB coronide, uh, a result above uh, 45 micrograms per liter uh, would, indi would indicate uh, consumption, a consumption uh, greater than two unit dose uh, in the past 24 to 48 hours. Mm -hmm. uh, with, that, with that in mind, I will present uh, our clinical study, which is named uh, the this is a cross-sectional, non-randomized, non monocentric clinical study in collaboration with the addictology units of the University Hospital. It was accepted uh, by uh, the French Research Ethics Committee uh, on October 2020, and uh, inclusions ended on March uh, 2021. There are two uh, main objectives. The first one is to compare uh, for our patient of uh, excessive consumer hospitalized for withdrawal the uh, PET value uh, to the proposed uh, 210 microgram per liter cutoff. The second objective was to define uh, the cutoff, which would allow 100% uh, sensitivity. Uh, to detect those consumers. We include uh, adult patients uh, during their preparatory hospitalization for withdrawal, uh, give them a consent on admission, and question them on, the, on their consumption uh, the month preceding admission. Uh, then uh, the two homologues and a typical night was analyzed uh, the day of admission and uh, seven days before. For the preliminary results, uh, I selected four uh, representative patients from our uh, 37 patient cohort. As you can see, uh, reported uh, eternal consumption as a wide range between uh, patients. Uh, Ethylcholinide in urine was uh, positive for all our patients, and some of them have had uh, blood alcohol concentration, uh, positive blood alcohol concentration. For samples uh, taken on the day of uh, admission, range uh, in the three analytes was quite wide, which is consistent with the, the variety of uh, alcohol consumption on our patients. Mean concentration on the first homologue was above uh, 1,000 micrograms per liter. And all, uh, all, of, all of our patients was positive in uh, the second homologue 
and atypicularized. What was uh, atypicular was detected on all operations, but only 83% persons was uh, positive. The key points here are uh, sensitivity for our first homologue, which was on our uh, patient population 94% uh, for uh, 210 beta. And 100% of our patients were, were above uh, 52 microgram per liter. However, uh, clinical data uh, need to be verified for those uh, two uh, patients which were uh, below the 210 cutoff because uh, some patients were admitted on uh, withdrawal hospitalization uh, with intermittent consumption and will not necess necessarily uh, meet the criteria for excessive consumption. When we compare the, this, uh, this uh, from, when we compare the samples from the, the admission with the, the samples on the seven days later, we can see a significant uh, drop in uh, the concentration of both homologues. Uh, for the first homologue, there is uh, a mean concentration, only 44% of the mean concentration is left. And for the second homologue, only 20, 28% is left. Uh, however, 78% of uh, our first homologue is uh, still above the 210 mark. We then calculate uh, half-life for both of logs. For the 16.0.18.1, we found a 6.9 days uh, mean half-life, which is consistent with uh, what we found in the literature. And for the second of log, we found 4.1 day half-life, which is higher than uh, what was described in the only uh, paper I found uh, <coughs> on the pharmacokinetics for this homologue, which uh, stated 2.1 day half life. We then uh, compare our uh, half life results for both homologue and for uh, women and men, which uh, did not gave a significant uh, difference. From our perspective, uh, cross-referencing analytical data with clinical data uh, would allow, allow us to, to propose threshold values for the interpretation on these uh, populations. We would propose um, a PET ratio per, per unit, uh, personal unit consumed. We would analyze the uh, ratio between both of those homologues and study, and study the impacts of uh, different inter, inter individual uh, variation factors on the uh, head concentration. Like it 
trucks faster up to people yes. than there. So are you suggesting that maybe in looking at uh, people saying that they're staining, that that might be a, a, a more sensitive way to determine that they're staining since, <laughs> since it's, it's decaying faster? Uh, for the second it's, it's decaying faster, yes. That's why in our interpretation, uh, we uh, assume a consumption of one to two weeks instead of more four weeks for the first one. Okay. Thank you. Thank you.